this is the first row. Your carriage is on the right and you are moving to the left. So you can see that all the needles on the front as well as on the back bed are being knitted. The second row, your carriage is on the left and now you are moving on the right. You will adjust your cams so that only the stitches on the back bed are knit and nothing on the front bed are knit. In the third row, moving from the right to the left, Everything on the front bed is knit and no stitch, no needle on the back bed is knit. Then the fourth row, all the needles on both beds are being knit. So this is the, the all needle start or the start with the comb. To cast on your needles, we are going to work on a sample with 40 needles. So this is the center of the bed, the mark zero, 20 needles left and 20 needles right. These are the needles that we are going to push up for our sample. You want to push your needles up from the prongs at the bottom of the bed and not just push the butts up here because when the carriage moves back and forth, it's these prongs that hold the needles up. If you don't push it from the prong, then the needles will not stay up. You will push the same number of needles, so 20 left and 20 right from the back. And same way, make sure that you push the prong up and not just push the needles up from the butt. When you first start the very first row, make sure that all these cams are open. So all four of them, the two on the front and the two on the back are all open. And now you will take your carriage across. So start with your carriage on the right, moving left. Just before you uh, run your carriage all the way till the end, we're almost at the end. Right there, I am going to pull the yarn out so there is a nice long uh, length of yarn so that the yarn is slack and not tight. And then I'm going to take my carriage across just so that I don't pull these stitches too tight. If you uh, don't slacken your yarn towards the end of your needles, and you pull your carriage to the end, then it just pulls the yarn and it just makes the stitches really, really tight towards the end, as you can see what has happened here. And this is not right. After the first row, the next step is to insert the comb. So I've just removed the wire and I'm going to take the comb between the two beds. Make sure that the comb is centered in your sample. Put the wire back in. And hang your weights. Now this for knitting the second row, we want to knit the needles on the back bed, but not knit the needles on the front bed. So I'm going to close the cam of the front bed. Then in the third row, when my carriage will be on the right side and I'm coming to the left, I want to knit the front bed, but not knit the back bed. So I'm going to close this. So I've just closed alternate cams. Carriage is on the left. I'm knitting to the right. This is my second row. Now the carriage is on the right, I'm knitting to the left. To knit the final row of the start with comb, the two cams that were closed will now be open and I will just knit across. Sometimes the stitch on the end of your uh, fabric might become too tight. So just push on the butt of the front and the back needle just to loosen that stitch a little bit. To knit the all needle rib or the full rib, uh, once you are, have done your four steps of the um, start with comb, you just have to knit back and forth 
and that's your full needle rib or, or all needle ribs. 